Hi everyone! I originally filmed this video and for some reason it went into manual focus and it wasn't in autofocus and the whole video was blurry and before that I hadn't changed my lighting so it was kind of an orangey cast. Anyway, I'm refilming this for you and I'm going to share with you products that I would recommend from e.l.f., products that have worked out for me that I've used before personally and other products that I do not like for various reasons and I would not recommend them so it's kind of my favorite products and products I would not recommend you purchasing. Anyway, let's start with the video. As you can tell, I really do love their matte lip colors. I have a lot of the shades. I don't have all of them, but I do have a lot of them. And on my lips, I am using T Rose. This is actually my second tube. I have gone through an entire one and I have one and I also have a backup because this is how much I love this color. It's very unique. It's kind of like a dusty mauve with purple undertones. It's absolutely stunning. I love this. I get a lot of compliments. It's very unique. And what I love so much about these lip colors is that there's a hidden sharpener right in the back. So right here you have a sharpener. So if you're on the go and you want to sharpen it, there you go. It's right in the back. And this is in a crayon form and they're stunning. They have such a great range of colors. My favorite, as you can guess, is T-Rose. I also like Dash of Pink, which is a pinky color. And my last favorite is another one that I actually ran out of. It's Praline. That one um, is beautiful. It's a great fall color. And people were saying that it reminded them of the classic Kylie Jenner lip. I definitely would recommend them. And I think they're $3 US on the e.l.f. website. Love them. I don't have it here with me today, but I did go through in the past a whole tube of the lip scrub. It's in a tube form, kind of like a lipstick tube, and then you twist it up and you exfoliate your lips. I love it. It's a great lip scrub. I highly recommend that you check it out. It's also, of course, very affordable. It's great for taking on the go because it's in a tube form. It's not in a pot where you have to unscrew the lid and then apply it and worry about it going everywhere. I highly recommend it. Okay, a few face products. I really like the Poreless Face Primer. I really do like the packaging. It's stunning. I love that it comes with a pump. It got great reviews online and this doesn't make me look like a grease ball. I have very oily skin. It doesn't make my skin produce any more oils than it should. Love this stuff. And also, I ran out of this today, but I have so many backups, it doesn't even matter. You can tell I love it so much because the e.l.f. actually rubbed off. This is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. I've gone through so many of these. I use these before and after my makeup just to give my face a quick spritz. And what I have been doing at night to lock in all my lotions, creams, serums, eye creams, all that. I give myself a quick spray just all over my face to lock everything in and I really do love this. I can't recommend it enough. I featured it in so many of my empties blog posts and I highly recommend this. I really do like this powder. It's just the translucent powder from e.l.f. I'm almost completely done it. As you can tell, I made quite a dent in it. I really do like it. My only complaint is that it doesn't last very long, but it's a great setting powder. I toss this in my bag and I just retouch throughout the day because as I mentioned, I'm very oily. My only complaint is how fast that I go through this powder, but it's a great pressed powder overall. This is the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder. I'll be honest, I don't use the bronzer so much, but I do really enjoy using the blush. I have it on today. This is great. I've traveled with this before and it's awesome because you get a duo and you don't have to worry about bringing each one individually. It comes right in one compact for you and it has a nice size mirror so that's another plus. Speaking of powders, I do have quite a few that I've depotted but this one I did not depot. This is in Giddy Gold. I can't wear it right now. I'm way too fair but I love wearing this in the summertime. It's great to wear at the beach or if you're going out at night. It's perfect. It's just a nice gold color and I also do like Peachy Keen from e.l.f. That's another great shade and going on to the palettes, I have both. I have the light and the dark. Again, I can't wear the dark right now because I'm way too fair for that, but I really do enjoy using the light palette. You get four gorgeous shades. They're stunning. It's, again, nice to travel with, has a big mirror. And I'll open up the dark palette for you as well because they're both stunning. This is how the dark palette looks like, and I'm going to put them side by side so you can really see the difference. So right here, this is the light and this is the dark, and here they are side by side. I definitely recommend that you check them out 
and if you break it down they're super cost effective they're like what two dollars for each shade in one palette or even less than that super affordable love these in my last empties blog post i went through an entire pack of the elf makeup wipes I do like them, they're not my favorite, but they get the job done and that's all that matters. And they're also great for removing swatches on your arms. Moving along to some tools, I don't have it with me, but I was using the e.l.f. eyelash curler for quite some time, a few years actually, and then it obviously started falling apart, like the hard plastic, the black on the handle kind of started coming off, and then the pads, I could only replace them so many times, but it is a good eyelash curler. It held up over the years. It gave my lashes a nice curl. So I do recommend that you check it out. It's not going to last you for a long amount of time. And if you need something just for touch-ups or to throw in your bag, definitely I would recommend that one. But for longevity, no. This is the Precision Sponge Trio. Okay, that's a tongue twister from e.l.f. And I really do like it. You get three different sizes. I don't really use the smallest size. This is a medium size, which I do use sometimes for cream contour and maybe even highlight if it's a cream highlight. This one is on its last leg. I've been abusing this pretty much. It's falling apart. The only thing I don't like about these sponges is that because they're white, they get so dirty. I just washed this one. This is why it looks expanded, but you can see all the stained makeup and that really bothers me. But this is the closest dupe that I have found to a beauty blender. It's not as bouncy and as soft, but it's very close. And this is the best dupe that I have found with the exception of the Real Techniques complexion sponge because I love that. This is a really good dupe and you get three, three different sponges for $12 US, which is a great deal. And would I repurchase this in a heartbeat? This is awesome and I really do like it. I just wish that they changed the color so it's not white. That's all. On to brushes. This is the Kabuki brush from e.l.f. I've had this for so many years. The little logo actually came off. This is great. It's a dome shaped brush. There's many, many bristles. It's very soft on the face. I love this. What I mainly do, I use this to blend out my bronzer or my contour and my blush and my highlight when I have that all on. I use it to blend all three together. Love it for that. Some people actually apply foundation with this or powder or bronzer. It's totally up to you. You'll see what works best for you. Love this brush. Another one is the e.l.f. Complexion Brush. This is again very soft. Sorry, mine's a little bit dirty. <laughs> and it's very soft. I usually use this for applying blush or powder. It really depends on my mood. This is a great brush. This is the e.l.f. Mineral Powder Brush. It is smaller and judge me all you want. I love highlighter. It's one of my favorite, favorite things in makeup. I've gone through so much highlighter in my life. I use this to apply highlighter all over my face, down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and the high points of my cheeks. This is what I use that for. And this one right here, I don't use it as much as I should or as I used to in the past. I used to be obsessed with this. I think this is my second one. This is the e.l.f. Powder Brush. I used to use this all the time for applying my foundation onto my face. This is a fantastic brush and it's a very flat brush. As you can see right here, it's very flat and it's great for buffing in product to your face. This is the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. I entered in a promotional code on the e.l.f. website a few months back and I received this free along with the translucent powder that I just showed you and a few other items. Oh, the makeup wipes and another product. This is a great brush. I really like this if I want to have my blush kind of appear more on my face. If I want it to appear more concentrated, more pigmented, this grabs a lot of it. And this brush is so soft. It's extremely soft. Like I can do this for such a long period of time. This is a great brush. I really do like it. Definitely check it out. Okay, on to some products that I would not recommend. So there are a few. I do not like this e.l.f. brow pencil at all. It's double-sided. It comes with a spoolie. And the other side, it just comes with a pencil. And the pencil is very, very thick. I do not like it. This is in the shade Deep Brown. I have dark brown hair. This is my original hair color. I've never dyed my hair. Shocking. I know, right? And this is way too dark. It makes my eyebrows look almost black and I'm very fair at the moment so it doesn't work for me. And because the tip is so thick it's very hard to apply my brow product. Like I can still do it, don't get me wrong, it just looks 
so drawn in and not how I normally like to do my brows. And this cap right here, the plastic cap, it just like comes off all the time. It's very loose. I do appreciate that it did come with a spoolie, but this cap is always falling off on me. It's not great to travel with. I don't recommend it. Um, I know some other people do like this product, but it's not my favorite. I also feature this in my disappointing products video, which I'll link for you. And this product right here, I have a whole video on it. And this is the e.l.f. Hydrating Gel Melt Cleanser. Okay, I know a lot of people really do like this cleanser. I only like using this cleanser in the morning. Um, this claims to melt off your makeup and I wear a full face every single day and, and this doesn't get my makeup off as well as I would like it to. This is how it looks like. Again, it's a gel cleanser. When I cleanse my face, I first use a cleanser. I get off as much as I can and then I go in with a makeup wipe to remove the excess. I know it's backwards from what a lot of people do, but I've been doing that for years and it's just how I remove my makeup in general. So doing that method, it leaves me behind with a lot of extra makeup that I didn't think would be on the makeup towelette and it's more work for me. And then when I'm toning my face, I'm still getting off products. So this product isn't working well enough for me, but other people love it. So I like full coverage foundation and maybe that's why, I don't know, but only in the morning will I use this product and I would not recommend it, I'm sorry. These two items I do not have, but the e.l.f. mascara I do not like. I've tried it, it did not work well for my lashes. I have straight lashes and they're also very long and it just was not working for me. I would not recommend their mascara. And also their eyeshadows that are not in the baked form. I do have single pans that I have depotted and I have had various palettes in the past, but I feel like the palettes that I've tried and the single shadows are not pigmented as much as they should be. And I feel like a lot of other brands do eyeshadow palettes and singles very well and e.l.f. is kind of like the low end for me. They're not doing their shadows as well as they should be and that's why they're not my favorite unfortunately. Okay, that wraps it up for this video. If I have forgotten to mention everything because I know I've mentioned quite a few products, I'll leave it down in the description bar down below. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and until next time, bye.